If you're new here, we're Tony and Francis, a Canadian Scottish couple traveling the world, sharing our stories and experiences with you. If you miss what's been going on, be sure to check out our last episodes in the Thailand and Cambodia series. In the last episode, we showed you some hidden gems not known by many tourists. From the secret village with awesome cafes and viewpoints to the most beautiful floating pagodas, that was an episode you gotta go back and check out. In today's video, we begin the first section of the Mei Hong Song Loop, driving the 762 loops from Chiang Mai to Pai. Stick around as we take you to a stunning waterfall, beautiful viewpoints, and share our journey with you. What's up everyone? If you're new here, my name is Tony and welcome back to the channel. Today it is day one here in Chiang Mai and we're actually planning to go on a really cool motorbike trip. Now if you've never heard of this loop, you basically start here in Chiang Mai and you go up to Pai and it's this big big loop around northern Thailand. We're starting our day, we're renting some motorbikes here at Motorbike Rental CM and this place is perfect if you want to find a motorbike to do this loop. All right guys, so we just picked up this motorbike here. We're gonna be taking a Honda Click 150. It's gonna carry both me and Francis, and it also comes with a rack right here. So, and honestly, I really like the color. Okay, we me uh WhatsApp, right? <laughs> so this one's a fob. You don't need, it's keyless. Yeah, I just have to keep you guys this can see. Right Literally keyless. And you just if turn it any kind of close? I have only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, look. Look. I yeah. never lose my bag. <laughs> I always have my bag. Alright, let's go. Okay, so Mokfa. Mokfa. Mokfa or Mokfa? Mokfa. Mokfa. Yeah. Mokfa waterfall. First stop of the day. I can already hear water. All right, so we have just made it to our first stop on our road trip from Chiang Mai all the way to Pai, and we're here at Mok Fa Waterfall. Now, we're just walking in. It does cost about 100 baht for a foreigner to enter the park, but they also have park, a parking fee, which is about another 20 baht. But the nice part is, if you're on a road trip and you have stuff that is strapped onto your bike, you can actually leave it because they will watch over it. But obviously still take your valuables because you don't ever want to leave that on the bike. But so far, we're walking through nature and I really can't complain. Okay guys, so we're starting, we're hiking about maybe 20 minutes to the waterfall. Our herd is not too far, but how beautiful is this guys? All right, shoes are off. Now I gotta walk that way to the waterfall guys. Oh, so nice and cold though. Oh, that was deep. I got my pants wet. I got my pants wet. So in order for you to actually get to the waterfall, you need to first make your way across this. Relatively easy, but guys, this waterfall, really beautiful so far. I'm gonna take off my jeans and swim. Are you gonna swim? I guess if you are. Dude, you cannot, you can't just not swim here. It's so nice. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. basically the entire world. Yeah, I was trying to get back in my jeans. I had to take off my boxers and I literally fell over Against on that rock. Balls and butt and wiener hanging out everywhere. And this is a problem because now I don't have boxers but I have ripped jeans mm -hmm. and I don't I don't want my manhood to slip on out of there, you know? Manhood. But guys, <laughs> boyhood. Overall, this waterfall is a must visit. This waterfall is absolutely beautiful. There's not a whole lot of foot traffic. Snake, snake. Snake, snake, oh snake, God, snake, 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 and a lot of bends. 762 to be exact. I'm just looking at Frances. She's like, yeah, that's right, that's right.
You got a girl. Woo! Am I on the right side of the road? <laughs> Don't play stupid. Guys, we just literally drove maybe two minutes up the road and we're greeted with this stunning view right here. Like, ah, incredible. Oh, Francis, what, what are we looking at right now? Big old valley. Guys, look at this beautiful valley. As we are off to another viewpoint. The next viewpoint. That was pretty good. <laughs> that madman Brandon's gonna kill himself on this trip. <laughs> hey, crazy! Dingo here driving, doing wheelies. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny when you did it. And when you drove away, I was like, I turned the camera on myself, I was like, he's gonna die. <laughs> One of these days, he's gonna die. Dude, I popped the wheelie on my moped back at home, yeah. and I crashed it. <laughs> And so what then, makes the, what makes you think you can do it now it was, on these roads? It was just about like winter when you park it. Yeah. So I tucked it into my garage and my parents didn't know for like oh, a year. Oh, really, hey? And then I blamed it on my brother. <laughs> so we just stopped here at an yet another viewpoint on our drive to Pi. We're probably only about maybe... What? 30 minutes. Maybe 30 minutes away, but we only have 30 minutes of light left. And I gotta still take up the drone to show you this incredible valley that we're looking at right now. Did I not tell you the view was going to be really nice? Yeah. So the sun is setting right now. We have about 30 minutes of daylight left and we only have 30 minutes of our drive to Pi left. We're probably on turn 732. Just gonna make a, a guess here. And so let's hop back on the bike and let's head into Pi before the roads get dark because we don't want to be on these roads when they do get dark. Welcome to Pi. <laughs> We made it to Pi. Well guys, that's the beauty of budget travel right there. We got ants in our bed, we got cobwebs in the corner, we got mold on the roof. You know, it just can't get any better than that. Right? Rustic. R rustic. Let's just pick, let's just tick it off as that. This place is very rustic. Alright guys, so that's the end of this episode here. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see the rest of what we get up to. And we're gonna hang out in Pi for a couple days. So we're gonna make some videos on that too. Make sure you come back around if you want to see what we get up to in Pi. And until then, I will see you in the next episode. Feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the magnet.